Um, our first presenter this evening is Harvey Lacey. Hello, Harvey. served two, two tours in Vietnam and installed telephone cable. It was during that time that he learned the pleasure found in making something without having the proper tools or materials and to do the impossible with nothing under the worst of circumstances. Lacey, Lacey is a self-employed welder fabricator, inventor, artist, and has three utility patents issued by the United States Patent Office. Lacey is married with four kids and six grandkids. Lacey is without a high school diploma or college degree, but as he says, I've taken a lot of courses. <laughs> we're going to put you in front of the microphone, and then we're going to start the slideshow, and your presentation will begin. Um, I have the okay. Challenge was very simple. All I had to do was take the device away to make houses with the materials at hand, the most economical way possible, and uh, for the worst circumstances we're talking about in the developing nations. This was a challenge for Ronald Bianca, who's a Kenyan architect. He's one of the last photos you will see. Just obviously, he's tall and thin. I'm not tall and I'm not thin. <laughs> it was woke up with the idea and then from then on it was really quite simple and that is all I had to do was look around and what there was was plastic so then all I had to do was figure out how to use that plastic hopefully without using heat chemicals and make building blocks very simple from time to time now with that now how the heck would we make a house out of that that's even more simple we tied it together. And it, the machine had to be simple. So we used a steering wheel. It was a long rod, had to be rod. We used a steering wheel and we compressed blocks. We tied it together with wire and we made houses. A lot of people see it and they think of recycling. Well, I look at it and recycling is a good thing and we're going to clean up the planet with this. But what's really important is there are literally one in 12 people live in devastating poverty. They do not have any security. They do not have a house. And this year, we can go in, we can microload somebody to build blocks through this machine. They can turn around and sell those blocks to home builders. The people who are procuring the plastic for them can hopefully someday be able to have one of these plastic block houses. And like all the good things that are simple, we found out things as we got into this. These are not just plastic block houses. These are great houses. These are good houses. This particular model right here, the R bag of that styrofoam and the, the Walmart bag is somewhere in the 40s. If somebody does really good plaster on it and they take some care, they can shoot with this house can be plastic. That means no heating, no air conditioning required. This particular house at the SMU campus, we had $250 in the return. Half of the steel, half of the water. The end goal is to set this up where we go into a place like we're talking about a gunner right now. We go in there and we build machines with the steel that they have. We set them up where we create businesses you're building the machines. That way, nobody has to send away to China or the United States or Europe for a part. They're all made local. The, 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 the blocks will be made there, the houses will be made there, and we can make it. And it's, it'll just keep right on going. We can go to the next town, the next big city, the next country, and that's all the way around the world. One of the things that's interesting is your picture here. If you look and sell those wires coming down, one of the things is how do you take and attach a roof? How do you attach a, uh, doors and windows to plastic blocks? It's very simple. You kind of get a Once that they're 
our time together with wire, then we come back to standard fashion, shields, levels, and columns. We can make it, but we have a nice goal. Here's the door here. Very simple, very easy. Um, when you stop and figure that we're going back before Noah, <laughs> literally. We're going back wherever you type things together to make houses. And this year takes it back to work. 70% of these people that are in that group of 1 in 12 are female. They can build their own houses. All the tools and the simplest and most kind of things are just little simple rods. We use leverage. But I like to say that we, we, we bypass group strength and we go back to being clever, which is sometimes a We make it where the women can build the houses. This here particular picture there, you see that thing looks like it's bad curtains. That's actually what we call a truth over. That's so you can see that it really looks like it's like clocks. The, where it's going today, this particular house is set up at Oklahoma University. They're going to destroy it. The way they're going to destroy it is they're going to test it. They're going to put pressure on it from different angles and whatever place they record that pressure. We'll know how it scales up against conventional construction. We could also make blocks with just bottles. It takes about 90 bottles. If we made that house out of just bottles, there have been 24,500 bottles in the SME house that we have over there. And by the way, the flat fact that you can the colors in. <laughs> this is a house that has 50 miles of Texas road sitting on the trailer. When I put it on there, I had to build it on a steel frame because SME did not be digging the foundations and concrete and all that. It was secured only by that steel frame. Luckily, we took it to go 70 miles. We came by this, this is the steel frame. The walls are not supported by 70 walls. We took that up to Oklahoma, 70 miles an hour, beyond roads, and we did it in time. But it survived, survived by that thing. And we believe that it's going to just turn the world upside down because of earthquake. Because there's a run. Kind of a run. It's a genius. And but this thing here is going to keep an earthquake. And they will have it like a wire fence wheel sitting away and lock all of the uh, The future, there's a couple of machines. The, uh, the future is just not over. And by the way, it's less than six months old. Less than six months ago, I woke up. Thank you.